at the end of this video you should be able to solve a simple linear non-restricted domain and range question like this and like this among different types of such questions seen in the exam in this question we have to find the domain of this function to solve this problem the first thing is to understand the mathematical meaning of this question and what you are expected to do this is the mathematical statement and this is the english meaning which is is there any number or group of numbers not allowed for the value of x in this question this is the first step to understand the question next step number two consider the basic rules when solving functions number one zero is not allowed at the denominator number two zero is allowed at the numerator number three zero is allowed inside a square root only if square root is at the numerator but in number four zero is not allowed in a square root if the square root exists at the denominator and the fifth rule is a minus which is a negative is not allowed inside a square root whether if the square root is at numerator or at the denominator always remember these rules when solving problems involving domain and range step number three to solve this problem mathematically consider the number line consider different values of x on the number line with all negative integers and positive integers including zero let's try zero for x and with zero we got minus five this means at the domain of zero the range is minus five let's move a bit towards the left of negative infinity and choose an integer let's just consider maybe minus three you can choose any other number here as the domain is minus three the range will become minus 11. how did we obtain this two multiply minus three will give you minus six minus six minus five will give you minus 11. and for this two times zero will give you zero and zero minus five we give you minus five next let's move a bit towards positive infinity and let's just try something maybe let's just choose five you can try any other number here as the domain takes five the range is also equal to five because two times five is ten and ten minus five we give you five you can see we tried zero for x and there was no problem we got an answer next we tried negative integers being towards negative infinity next we tried positive integers going towards positive infinity all for the x value which is the domain and you can see there was no restrictions next how do you represent your answer for this question the english answer is all numbers on the number line will be allowed for x in the function question however this is mathematics and we're going to represent our answer in mathematical format and the mathematical answer is simply r meaning all real numbers on the number line going towards negative infinity and positive infinity including zero is allowed for x that is the meaning of r 
which is real number. Another way we can write this is this can equally be represented as this, which equally means x can take values ranging from 0 to negative infinity, also towards positive infinity, including 0. This is our answer and this is also the answer you just need to write only one both are the same consider this question find the domain of this function the answer is simply real numbers why there is no restriction for x both towards negative infinity and positive infinity including zero in the next video we are going to consider other questions and other topics in functions in precalculus you can locate and assess other videos by following the link on the screen i will see you in the next video